Clayton, do you like the fact that this organization every spring has this World Series or bust expectation now? It's fun, man. I mean, we got a, uh, you know, we've, we've had some good runs the last four or five, six years. So, um, you know, it's kind of exciting to uh, kind of start all over, but at the same time, you know, have the same guys back, have a good group back, and you know, we made a pretty good run out of last year, and just try to win more, one more game this year. Good group back. One thing about being around here, good dudes, bro. Like yeah. good guys. Chemistry matter on this club? I think so. You know, I used to be a big believer and still am. You know, talent's going to win you games. But I think, uh, you know, I saw it a lot last year. I think last year was the, the biggest reason to start believing in chemistry for me. It was just that we had the care factor. I think every guy legitimately kind of cared about what other guys were doing. And we had a lot of fun with that. And you hear my son down here. I'll pick him up oh, real quick. Yeah, there we go. We have a care factor for Charlie. Yeah, he's got his goldfish. and. Um, yeah, but you know, it was, uh, we had a blast. We, uh, we had a blast last year, a lot of great guys, and it was, it was just a ton of fun. What's the one thing, I tell you right now, I don't care who you are, it was the greatest World Series to watch as a fan. Was it nervous playing in it, even the days you weren't pitching, because the games were just up and down? Yeah, I mean, probably more nerve wracking when you're not pitching, you know, mm -hmm. just because it's kind of out of your control, but, uh, you know, definitely an experience I won't forget, you know, good and bad. Um, you know, I got to have some success and also, you know, didn't pitch well either. So just to get to go to do that and then, you know, being in L.A. for a World Series hadn't happened since 1988. Um, really understand what it means to the fans there and um, try to get back and win one. Mm -hmm. You know, we were talking to Joey Votto, who's just, uh, you know, brain man when it comes to pitching or hitting. He's an amazing brain for the game of, uh, hit, of baseball. Talking to you as the best pitcher, in my opinion, in the game. Do you try to add things to your repertoire, like not, maybe like personal goals? Because Joey was talking about that. Like, I have a game for myself when I show up. I want to do. I want to reach this goal personally. Yeah. Do you try to do that? No, 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 no personal goals. I just try to win every start. I think uh, I try to make it as simple as possible. Um, you know, whatever whatever worked in the past doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work this year. So you have to continue to grind at it, continue to try and work on your craft. Uh, not necessarily adding new things, but just trying to keep getting better at the stuff you have and. Um, but when it comes down to it, just stay in that five-day routine and try and win every start. That's, uh, that's kind of the only way you can make it through that long of a season, in my opinion. How much video do you watch before start? I watch, uh, I'm probably right in the middle, I think. Like, I'm definitely not one of those guys that just doesn't watch any video, relies on stuff, and I'm not a guy that's in there for hours either. You know, I just, uh, I want to be familiar. I want to be comfortable with the guys in the box. I kind of want to have a good game plan of, you know, what can work, what I can do against them. But... Um, I don't want to be, you know, overloaded with info that I don't feel like I can throw anything because these guys are too good. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a happy medium for me, and I, I've learned that the hard way. So uh, I've definitely, uh, I think I've got a pretty good routine when it comes to that now. What do you think of the uh, limitation on mound visits? Are you okay with that? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I think, you know, at the end of the day, it could have been a lot worse. But I, I think with the neg negotiation, the commissioner's office, the union, I think they at least got to a point where um, they found a little bit of common ground, which is good. And um, you know, the thing that was crazy for me is I pitched the other day and that 205, I guess that extra 20 seconds makes a difference because I was kind of lagging behind on that 225. So <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to pick it up a tick for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Is he he was doing this? Is he a righty? He's righty, man. That's all he does is throw and eat. So uh, you can play more positions as a right hand. Yeah. You can play shortstop, third base, second, just in case. I think he hits lefty. Bingo. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be, uh, you know, he's 15 months. Another, you know, another couple months, we'll get him, you know, get him in the cage and get him going. Right. He's already got the show hair. Yeah, no doubt about it. Clayton, thanks for the time, man. All right. Thanks, guys.